Hi, excuse me, sir. I am so sorry to bother you. I'm trying to sell this Easter egg uh, to get my mom's medication. I'm raising money. Do you think you have a couple dollars or I anything? Have a for you. You just have a dollar? Yeah. All right. I will. I will take it for a dollar. Um, do you Do you mind if I if I sit with you right here? Um, just talk to you for, for a minute. It. Yeah? Okay, yeah. All right. If you have time. Yeah. Let's Let's just sit here for a second. Um. Um, if, you, if, if I wanted to ask you like what made you wanted to help me like I literally went to like so many people and no one wants to help me Oh, it's okay to help people out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but what what was the reason like like uh, I because, said You know, I like I, people help me out because I'm homeless and all that good stuff. Oh, so, you you are homeless. I'm sorry time time I get help from people. So I try to help people out too uh, if you don't mind me asking like how long have you been homeless for oh, for some time now a couple of years couple of years and what was the reason and you don't have to answer this what happened how did you become homeless oh just misunderstandings and drug use and all that other good stuff and how are you coping up with those things have you been staying trying to stay away from that type of stuff or um yeah that's good yeah. that's good man uh, really really nice and so when it rains like has it been raining for a week where do you usually sleep in the rain um in my tent under with a tarp make sure i don't get wet oh you have a tent so yeah. the tent is like kind of like waterproof or yeah well the tarp makes it a waterproof got it and also um like as far as food wise is there like people that come and help you with the food somebody helps you with the From food time to time yeah there's some christian people come down some koreans oh some koreans out. yeah and like would they just come and offer you food yeah, or how they're from the church they come like every saturday and they just come and talk to you. Have you been going to that church too? No, I went a couple of times, but I don't. I don't attend that church daily. Got it. Let me let me ask you one question. And again, you don't have to answer this. Do you believe in any high power? Do you believe God. in God? You do. Yes. So who who is your God when you describe the God? Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you are a believer, man. Love you. Love you for that, man. And and I feel like not just because you're helping me with this dollar. Um, just because you know you believe in jesus but anybody would do that you know a lot of people will do that especially the people are the best people that i've been meeting are usually the ones living on the street yes. they're the one that have less and they want to help more and that's that's the most you had right yeah what were you going to do with it uh most likely buy something to drink or something who knows you were gonna go get yourself a drink yeah or or ha when was the last time you ate um maybe like last night or something like that I don't remember. so you haven't ate in all day Oh my god, I'm so sorry. And even though you didn't eat for so long, like <laughs> since last night and the whole day you haven't ate, you still wanted to help me with that one dollar. Like you're an angel. How is your mind so different than the people that are living in, in, in a regular world? I'm not too sure, but I'll do anything to help. You will do anything to help. So let's say if you had $20 in your pocket right now and you were on the way to buy your meal, you would stop going to the shop and you would, I mean, to the restaurant and you would give me that $20 to eat. Yes. Uh, or I mean to to get uh, medication for my mom anything yeah of course I would wow that's bro that's such a big heart man um, about. that that is crazy so what is a positive message you want to give to people that are actually right now in the addiction of like drugs and stuff what would you say to them um, all I can say is say your prayers every night and brush your teeth <laughs> say the prayers and brush your teeth yes so no but I mean how can they be uh you know get far away from addiction because oh, um just to have faith you know pray to the lord jesus christ he'll help but is there is there a way like practices like to go to the gym or keep yourself um, you know busy yeah, with other stuff busy. like i'll pick up trash on the streets okay just help people out whatever i can anything positive so picking up trash yeah. makes you like keeps your day busy yes or somebody else keeps in me out of trouble keeps you out so if somebody else is doing something else like let's say they like to go to the gym or they should find a job or they should do something else, right? Yeah. To just keep themselves busy. And what about a message to people that actually do not believe in God at all? What would you say to them? How can they find God? Um, I would just say just, you know, stay on, um, just stay on the right path and make sure that you stay away from drugs and stuff and surround yourself with good people. Try to be around good people. Yes. And when you say good people, how do you know who's good and who's not? Because this world that we're living in, you I can, feel like... You can, you can tell somebody who's good or bad. If they're helping you out, then they're good. If they're not, if they're leading you to negativity, then they're bad. Okay, so let me ask you this. Since you mentioned that, I was going to Walmart asking a lot of people for help. And you were the only person that decided to help me, right? So you are good, but the people that didn't help me are... Would you consider them bad or...? Yeah, they're just a little confused. It takes time, you know what I mean? So, so they are confused with their life? Yeah, just everything. It's hard out here.
And what would be a message to those people that are actually denying and rejecting people that are asking for help? Never give up and just have faith and pray to the Lord. No, no, no. What, what I mean is, okay, so like I said, I went to so many people, right? Mm -hmm. And they are saying no, no, or telling me go find a job. Even though I'm telling them these, this money that I need is for my mom's medication, what would be a message to them? Oh, just... Um, to man. start helping or start, you know, don't judge a book by its don't cover. Don't judge a book by its cover, true. Because you don't know what somebody's going through. Why would exactly. somebody be selling something? Somebody selling flowers or candies or... Yeah. They might be, you know, needing the money for yeah. real, for real. Just don't judge a book by its cover. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what, you know, we are taught in school and everywhere we go. All that's right. A good one. One last question mm -hmm. that I'm going to ask you. Uh, what is something that you would ask for that could actually change your life? What would you ask for? Maybe a job right now. A job right now? Yeah. What, what kind of job would you do if you find anything, a job? Anything, cleaning up, you know, helping out. Anything that requires just fucking work. <laughs> what, what, ki what kind of like past experience? Do you have any work experience? Have Not worked? really. So you haven't really worked anywhere. And if you don't mind me asking, like how old are you? 38. 38 yep. and you have never worked in the past no and i've worked a couple of times but at a warehouse and stuff like that warehouses okay yeah. oh, all right shit. all right <laughs> since you dropped this man <laughs> i want to give it back to you cool. um but hey this is a easter bunny egg right and this is not a regular egg so turn it around and see what it says on there $50. yep and this is your dollar back man this was a social experiment i didn't really need the money thanks and um since you decided to help me, I wanted to go ahead and bless you with that. Cool. What would you What would you do with the money? Um, maybe go help out my family, <laughs> help help myself, buy clothes. Buy clothes so and help did. your family. Yeah. Help what about out. the people that are you're living around? Wouldn't you um, want to help? Yeah, all these? them too. Oh shoot! I accidentally opened it. Oh, you know what? Here, open it. Open it and see. There's actually a note for you. Oh, Why cool. don't you go ahead and open it and read it? Read it for me. Ooh. Note. And and I'm sorry for taking so much of your time. So, We're almost done. You are an angel and a gift from God. This was a social experience since your help. Since you helped me, I want to bless you. That's what it says. Alright, man. God bless you, man. Can I can I get a hug, bro? Like sure. thank you for helping me out. Just stay like that and God bless you. Alright, so